move again. All right. Uh, this is Chapter 3 of A Dark Future Rising, a Heroes and Hardships campaign. Uh, if you've been watching, this is a superhero game. And uh, we're going to get started tonight. I have with me Sim as Caius and Raz as Zen. And let I'm going to read a couple things. Uh, so the interlude for what happened in between last chapter and this chapter um, is uh, three days have passed. And after being threatened by Doppelganger, Amplify went to social media to tell his fans that aliens were among us and that threats to impersonate him were possible. Arcadis and the United States government had advised Amplify to remain silent about the incident, but there was no such luck. And... Oh, I'm echoing one sec. Uh, you guys see the handout? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Three days had passed from the encounter with Doppelganger. Amplify went to social media to announce the new threat. His millions of followers soon learned the truth. But only this new threat, but of real aliens. Real aliens! News agencies picked up the story and Amplify's social media accounts have shot through the roof. Everyone wanted to know about these little green men. Zen has found his services useful as usual, but he might be surprised that he hasn't been in more demand. Only a few high-powered businesses have contacted him. Doppelganger? If the government wanted to determine who or where he was, they hadn't enlisted Zen's help. Not yet, at least. Caius took this time to explore. He couldn't find Doppelganger. Not yet. Not like this. Not like this. But he got to l the lay of the land, flying around Los Angeles and trying to understand these strange humans he now resembled. On the third day at 9 a.m., each of you receive a message, however you'd most apt to receive them, from the local government agency called uh, related to the gifted. Uh, they simply called themselves the agency. You have spoken with them before, in passing, or in... Uh, deep conversations. Uh, Zen has worked for them, and Caius has made contact upon first landing, an amplifier through Arcadius. Now they wanted to meet you personally this afternoon. You have the address. Um, so we can start uh, wherever you like, whatever you want to do. Uh, just let me know. This is again. What what is that company called? Which one? The one that wants the to meet with you? you? Yeah, the one where we're going. Uh, well, you could. Uh, you don't have to go there, but they uh, wanted you to go there. It's uh, called the agency. It's a uh, a um, some sort of uh, section of the government that oh. has to do with uh, has to do with superheroes. Is that a section of the U.S. government? Yes, the U.S. government. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Caius wouldn't mind going there. It's, uh... Sure. It'd probably be more resources, you know. Unless I have something else to do at the time, Zen will literally just show up. Yeah. So I will assume you both will do that. Uh, let me, uh... Move you guys over. Uh, your tokens are still being worked on. Um, so I'm I'm expecting by the next, uh, the next game uh, they will be finished. Here's... So... They look pretty good from what I've seen. Very, nice. very, uh, very good for the the theme of the game. Um, okay, let's see. Yep. Right. You can see. Yes, uh, yellowish building. Yep. Let me see yep. if I can see. There we go. All right. This building is just outside of Los Angeles. Uh, it is uh, has several government offices in it. Uh, you've probably been into the lobby or maybe one of the upstairs offices. Um, and uh, there's not much to be said about that. Uh, you know, there's one token I should have made. Let me see. Give me one second. I wished. One thing I don't like about Roll20. Well... It's not easy to grab your previous assets and find them. Oh, in the library? Yeah. Tab? Yeah. Mm. This work. 
Um, there's a receptionist uh, as you uh, both make your way towards the entrance, and you guys can role play as you kind of come together at the same ish time um, to uh, go to your meeting. Amplify is not there. Uh, you're not sure why. Um, Maybe Zen is uh, 10 minutes early on the grounds and uh, has this, you know, the monk pose where the arms are, it, it, the hands are in the in the sleeves. And uh, we'll sort of walk around and look at the architecture and the uh, the artwork and looks out the window. So essentially when Kaios, I assume, flies in, um, he will see Zen in the lobby looking at some sort of maybe an odd statue, right? Or, or piece of art that's on the wall. And sort of just be, just be looking at it. Yeah, Caius would be close to being on time. Uh, you know, still trying to figure out the layouts and stuff. Kind of, you know, took his time getting here so he can explore as he goes. Um, and he would land just on the outside uh, slowly, you know, hover down. No no superhero landing or anything like that. Um, and then he would immediately see the, the familiar Zen in the lobby and as he walks in, would would walk to him and uh, Zen. Happy to see you again. Although no doubt you'd already be able to know that. Ah, uh, Caius, it is good to see you again as well. How do you feel today? I uh, feel like I'm getting the layout of this land very well. I managed to explore more than just the city, but it's, it's pretty big when you're trying to memorize some of the locales. Ah, uh, might I recommend the maps of Google? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I eventually will learn how to use your technology. I've known some of it, but it is outdated. Ah, uh, surely. Now, have you made any progress in finding pre -fala? Unfortunately, a lot. His, his face will, will kind of, like, narrow a little bit. Uh, unfortunately not. It's, I have nothing to go off of. He could be anywhere. I can't pick him up. Um, Endurance and persistence will be rewarded. You will see. Uh, I do believe that, and I do believe with the assistance of everybody else that it will eventually work in our favor. Now, I believe, and he sort of looks over to the receptionist, we have an appointment? Oh, yeah, uh, you're uh, Mr. Zen and Mr. Caius, right? He just, he just nods amiably. Yeah, Caius would just kind of stare blankly at her. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, let me call downstairs. And she um, picks up the handset. Um, Caius, you probably think this is some very archaic communication technology. And she says, Oh, Agent, uh, Agent Wa Masters, um, Zen and Caius are here to see you. Should I lead him down? Okay. Yes, sir. She hangs up the phone and looks at you. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a couple minutes. Uh, you can take a seat, and then I'll lead you down. Thank you. And Caius would nod. Caius, tell me, what do you know about scrying and projecting yourself like Doppelganger does? Unfortunately, not much. That's, it was new to me. I've seen holograms and such, but this was quite different. Did I, over the three days, find anything in my research? About scrying? Uh, power of scrying? Using the agency as a sort of my almanac? Yeah, you. Um, no one's uh, heard of this uh, power yet, um, from what mm. you have been able to tell, but that's not... You know, all these powers are kind of in their infancy uh, yeah. and uh, that sort of thing. Plus, uh, it's clear that 
uh, doppelganger is an alien, so you know it might not be possible here. You're you're unsure. I'll go ask the men in black. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they will know, obviously, as some alien registry, and then we just look it up. Right. Can't be Get their pins out. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Okay. It remains a mystery. For now. Um. Yeah. Zen is patient. He doesn't think he needs to fill the silence with words. Yeah, Caius would just spend his time kind of looking at the, at the building that Zen was when Caius approached him. I read the receptionist's mind. I'm trying to get a sense of this agency and what she believes this agency stands for. Sort of like an employee's own opinion would probably be beneficial. Yeah, you, uh, though, I mean, she's just a receptionist. Just yeah. a receptionist. But, yeah. Um, they, they might be hiding a lot of truths from her, but at least it gives him sort of a starting point. Yeah, she, you get uh, the sense that she's pretty happy with her job. She gets paid well. Uh, she thinks it's pretty easy. Um, she knows that the, you know, she has something to do with superheroes. She's seen several of them. Uh, she finds it interesting, but not all that interesting. Um, but she thinks that um, because there's a rise in superhero activity, she'll have a job for a while. So she's happy about that. But uh, really, there's not much... Uh, yeah, there's not much to her thoughts. Um, she's not like, she doesn't know anything. Isn't mistreated. Doesn't know any like like, subconsciously secrets. terrified or something. No, no, uh -uh, nothing's okay. ever. You would be able to tell if like something yeah. happened to her and her brain was wiped or something. Probably. Um, yeah. yeah, there's well, there's no that just stuff. rumors, right? Of don't go level thirty, sub level thirty three. They're doing terrible things. You know that. Yeah, kind of stuff yeah, no, no, uh, uh, no, okay. no. Okay. Cool. Great. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Um, so a few moments pass, and there's a beep on her phone. A red light kind of flashes, and she picks it up and answers and says, okay, right away. And she stands up and kind of straightens out her blouse and skirt and says, uh, follow me, gentlemen. I'll walk her. after her. Yeah. I'll uh, politely allow Caius to walk in front of me if he's if he'd like. I don't mind. He just tries to be polite. Uh, Caius, not being familiar, wouldn't 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 race to the front. It's kind of it, it, it might be dawdling a minute, you know, as he's looking around. So he'd be he'd be well not to zoom into the elevator or wherever they're going. <laughs> yep. Then it's Zen first and Caius after. Yeah, you go to the elevator. Um, she kind of uh, slides her badge across the reader. Um, the elevator opens, and she uh, says, uh, "Just go down to the ground floor, uh, or the subfloor. Um, just hit B." And uh, she um, takes a step back and watches as the elevator door closes in front of you. And uh, I assume Send you're going you down. Caius and says, to be or not to be. <laughs> and then presses the button. <laughs> Caius didn't get the joke. He just, yeah, he it's just unfortunate, didn't... right? Because he's not from here. But <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Zen is what are you talking himself. about? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. As you do go down to the sub, sub level, uh, the door opens. Uh, and there is a uh, man there that you do not recognize. He just nods and follow me he says uh, and uh, he will lead you down a, a small hallway it's almost like a basement uh, it doesn't look like uh, an office building anymore and then he gets to a room and badges in uh, and then escorts you inside and this this is kind of an approximation it's definitely not this bad um, as you're gonna see uh, but this is kind of the gist of it it's a very sterile room um, looks like it's probably uh, an old bomb shelter or something like that. Uh, it's probably It's probably air gapped, where uh, cell phones and other communications devices cannot come through. 
Um, and then uh, the man sitting in the chair stands up and turns and waves you inside. I'm Agent Masters, TK. Come on in. Uh, sit down. And there's two chairs. There's actually uh, several chairs in front of him. Choose the right chair, because it's the right chair. <laughs> Caius would just find whatever chair is there and sit properly. Um, I'm, I'm probably I'm, I'm probably not so polite that I wouldn't just read his mind. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Um, Cause he just he doesn't do it out of po sense of power. He does he, he connects with people, right? Like he tries to be one with people, and so to him it's become sort of natural to just read people's minds around him. Yeah, he's a bit nervous, um, particularly with Caius, uh, because of who he is. And xenophobia is normal in humans. Yeah, and so he he's a bit nervous. Um, he doesn't have any sort of um, ulterior motives. You kind of suspect that he doesn't know a whole lot. Um, he knows, you know, what missions he's going to ask you to do. He's, he's going to ask you a favor. Uh, and he's definitely surprised that Amplify is not here and irritated by it. Um, okay. So I'll, uh, essentially I, I prepare myself to hear out his request. And he says, oh, well, uh, it's uh, good to meet you both. Uh, um, uh, yeah, so uh, where is uh, Mr. Amplify, do you know? Us. He does not report to me, and we are not on such a friendly basis that I would know at all times of his whereabouts. Have you checked his social media accounts? Yeah, we uh we actually did. Um, it's been no activity for like uh, six hours, which is a little odd for him. Indeed. Well, I'm sure he'll eventually pop up. Yeah. Well. Anyway, uh, I guess I was um, supposed to give him a talking down to about uh, posting about um, uh, what's his name? Uh, I. I we're just calling him Doppelganger, so... Is the name, and he, he looks over to Caius, is the name uh, is the... confidential? No, he, he would... Caius would happily say his name. Kree Fala, my dear TK Masters. Huh, Kree Fala, and he writes it down. Uh, it's probably in my notes somewhere. Um, yeah, I just, I just know that you can uh, read my mind, so it's a little strange, right? Not at all. Well, from this end, maybe. Are you Perhaps. trying to hide something? Is that why it's a little strange? Because I find that if you're hiding something, <laughs> that's the only reason I would be uneasy. Well, I mean, if I, I can't hide anything from him, so what's the matter? This is true. Zen will tell to Kaiser. He is, he is sincere. Uh, humans are not accustomed to being so open with each other. Uh, perhaps during some downtime, uh, research the subject of uh, white lies. Hmm. I will do that. Yeah, that's like if you had like, um, that, well, they say like a woman says, uh, how do I look? And you say, you look great, even if they don't, you know, like that. Hmm. Just so they don't get, well, they don't get mad at you and they don't feel bad about themselves, that kind of thing. This I kind of understand. People panic. Sometimes it's best to reserve stuff. Yeah, anyway, anyway, that's not why I called you here to talk about this. Um, so, uh, just to lay it out there, um, we've got a problem. Uh, I was hoping to have all, all three of you, but uh, two is good, I guess. Um, we're looking for... Um, we're investigating a terrorist group. Uh, they're called uh, Resist the Darkness. Uh, you might have heard of them uh, a bit. Uh, they're, you know, zealots. They think that the end of the world is coming. You know how that goes. Um, and uh, we think they're having some, uh, you know, interactions with some supers. I don't know if they're trying to, like, recruit some or, uh, yeah, that's kind of where you come in to figure out what's going on. 
uh, one of the local agents here in town. We uh, have a good fix on her, uh, and uh, we're hoping that you could help us out. What was the name of the group again? Resist the Darkness. Gotcha. Well, I don't mind helping out at all, as long as my assistance leads to assistance from, I guess, would be called this country's government. Strange that it's not a world government. We figured that you humans would be expanded beyond your own star by now. Yeah, well, we humans do uh, do get in our own way sometimes, that's for sure. To be fair, Zen will say, given the rapid development of technology over just the past two centuries, it, it appears at least to us humans, that we are developing quite quickly. Oh, it does appear that that's for us as well. Information coming from this star system is quite outdated, as you should know. It, it's, it's not like we have every civilization under a microscope to figure out what they're up to. It's more as information travels to us before we start looking into areas of concern. Does the um, information from Masters, like what he's telling us, is he holding holding back anything about that woman? Is it like, for example, is she dangerous or is she a double agent? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. He uh, he he's uh, ready to give you more information about her. Oh, cool. uh, so he he slides over like a Manila envelope, um, which has her picture. Let me get that out for you. Oh, oh, oh! Here's a cool roleplay thing. Yeah, go ahead. Has he read the information in the Manila envelope? Yes. Then I will absorb that. Okay. Is that possible? Like I could just like yes. You. I've, since, and then I could say since you've since yeah. you thoroughly read this, I am now privy to the same information. Thank you. Yeah, he just uh, stops. Uh, yeah. Um, can I just uh, explain it for Caius over here, just so you guys get a good level set? Please. Uh, sure. Uh, he swings open the Manila envelope and shows a picture of Sadie uh, Quinn here. This is uh, Sadie Quinn. She's uh, an agent for Resist the Darkness that we know of, living in town. Uh, has uh, caused some problems, um, destroyed some of our facilities, some other facilities of some personal businesses. And uh, he says, uh, that he brings out a map too. Um, and I'll swing over to the map that I've been working on. Let me... Uh, Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Um, he uh, says, uh, so here we have uh, a uh, report of an explosion outside of town. Uh, initial reports uh, think it was super related, and that's the EX. Oh, I'm sorry. He says, uh, he says uh, there's a safe house out there, too. Uh, not sure exactly what's happening, but uh, might be a good place to start. Hmm? Safe house for you? Or for no, you? no, not us. It's a resist the darkness safe house, we're pretty sure. Hmm. And uh, then he points over to the SQ. And this is her apartment where she's been living, under assumed name. I think these would, uh, if you would start with one of these, you could probably find out something about uh, her and. Resist the darkness. Now, I I would say that uh, maybe don't engage with her unless you feel it's safe. But uh, you can call us and we'll have a squad there in ten minutes, the latest. Understood. Now, what would you like us to do? What does success look like to you and the agency? Well, one thing would be to get the inf more information on Resist the dark Darkness, what other agents they have in town, what their plans are, uh, and then so we can get the ball rolling with uh, arrests, right? You know, uh, you get one person, you get one person, but if you get that person to fold on the others or information from that person to fold on the whole organization, maybe we can bring it all down before they do something reckless and hurt a lot of people. Yes, this is something I understand. 
but I don't know who the group is. It seems that if they are able to threaten your population, then yes, we should definitely look into them and help you. What does he know about Resist the Darkness? Because currently we're just taking his word that they're a bad group. Yeah, uh, just uh, from his superiors, reports he's been given, uh, that sort of thing. Um, he has no personal uh, knowledge of resistant darkness or any agents or anything. Mm. That case then would probably state that and say, now, while there is a certain level of trust ordered to this agency, what information is there about resist the darkness, the group that my friend Caius and I might consume to get a better idea of who we are interacting with going forward. Well, I can uh, try to get some reports to you, but uh, the short of it is they're, as I said, a zealot group that thinks the end of the world is coming, and they think it has something to do with uh, the gifted folk like yourself. Uh, they think that uh, there's going to be some sort of holy war, and he does like the quotations, between superheroes, and in the process, the whole Earth will be destroyed if we don't stop it. And they're willing to do anything to go to those means. Now, what stop it means, I really don't know. I don't know what their plans are. That's partially why we need your help. Have they been targeting supers to avoid said super war? Uh, we don't have any uh, concrete data. We think that they have a couple or one uh, in captivity, but uh, for what reason, we don't know. It might be captivity. It might be that they're actually joined the Resist the Darkness group. Uh, so, not sure exactly. What is your agency's assessment then of the current strategy of Resist the Darkness? Are they, what, what do you think they will do to achieve their goal of preventing this catastrophe? Well, one possibility is they try to kill all the supers. Or they recruit supers to kill other supers. We're not really sure, but they are going to great lengths to arm themselves with, you know, traditional weapons like machine guns and explosives and that sort of thing. Stealing them from military installations. They have a vast network of spies, we believe, and agents throughout Los Angeles and other places in the world. Thank you. Guy is kind of staring and looking all red, Zen. Well, no doubt you'd be able to assist the situation better than I would be able to. Uh, Perhaps. Where do you think we should start? I believe if... He thinks about it. Some sort of disguise could be procured through the agency as to make us not appear as ourselves. Perhaps I could be able to read uh, Mrs. Quinn's mind without her knowing. Yes, that would be a fantastic idea. Once we found her. I mean, we can get you some disguises, but uh, I... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, Caius here is not very well known. Zen, I, I don't know if you're on social media, but... Uh, should assume that a group that's main goal probably is to prevent a supers on supers war to keep tabs on set supers yeah that's that's probably a good point um, I can see what we can do um, looks at you <laughs> looks at your beard yeah we'll see what we can do <laughs> I'm not opposed to some temporary hair dye uh, hat or baseball cap you know look like a angelite i am not sure uh, i've got i've got a better idea you guys could really blend in with homeless folk um so maybe uh that's what we'll do speaking of homeless folk what are you going to do if we meet your success criteria 
Well, uh, depends on what you find, I guess. Uh, if you just find Miss Quinn, uh, then we probably will take her in for questioning. Um, with you, of course, to help us. Uh, if you find more documentation or any other evidence, uh, please bring it to us, obviously, and we'll have our analysts uh, go over it, and then they'll come up with another plan. But for now, we're just looking to get as much information on them as we can. Does he expect us to work for goodwill? Because that was technically what Zen was driving at, is like, what do we get in return? Ah, uh, uh, yeah, way? yeah, no, he, oh, ah, uh, sorry, ha, uh, yeah, um. No, 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 I mean, it's a very, it's very understandable, because he speaks in cryptic ways. Yeah, he's, oh, um, he's just kind of uh, yammers, he doesn't say anything, I guess he doesn't understand. Exactly, yeah, yeah, but in his mind, does TK Masters have sort of already made up? Like that, we're getting payment. Yeah, you. Th yeah, they or... they would uh, compensate you with money. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. Because earlier in the session, I felt like Caius had made the offhand comment that we're working for goodwill, and I'm not sure that Zen is doing just that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would I would think that uh, your previous um, sort of contract. Fee. Yeah, yeah. You have uh, basically you you've you've not met him before, but you've done you know. Uh, interrogation type things probably um, whatever you would feel is appropriate but um, and they've paid you or uh, given to charity based in your name or whatever you would have them do then I don't have to bring the subject up if I already know that that, that checks are good then that's fine yeah yeah mm. okay um, and then he, he raises his cell phone and says how would you like me to stay in touch ah oh, yes uh, here uh Here's my number. Uh, I have yours already. Um, he will text you. Um, he's oh, if you don't have one, Caius, uh, here's a burner phone. He just passes like a flip phone over to you. Sand leans over and says, "It does not burn, and you should not burn it." <laughs> Caius, a kind of smile. Ah, uh, yes. Devices. I suppose this will let you know where I'm at as well. Hi, huh, yeah, we can track your GPS signals. Huh. Very interesting. Yeah, we can track anyone with a cell phone. If we know who's attached to the cell phone. Anyone in the world, really. And then Zen leads over to Kaios and says, I believe it is based on satellites, so if you don't want that, just fly above the satellites. And then mm. gives him gives him sort of a, a fun like a wink. Yes, the satellites that circle the Earth. It's hard to tell what's trash and what's what is useful. Well, there is some space junk up there. I've heard. <laughs> you know, we don't get up to space very often. Uh, anyone really? Uh, Do you hear about Bezos going to space? It's crazy. Right. Hey, you said it's March 2021. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but maybe it's, yeah, it's, 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 you're talking about the future, I bet. Yeah, you're like, is, is, is planning to go to space? Yeah. <laughs> dum -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> and, then, and then, and then, then because he's he's a he's a do-gooder, will say uh, it is sad to see a company whose name is synonymous with uh, large, vibrant forest do so little for said forest. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, if there's anything you need from me, uh, I'll have uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, analysts uh, come up with some disguises for you. Uh, before you leave. And he pass he's, he's closes the folder and passes it over to you. Um, yeah, Caius can have it. Zen probably doesn't need it. Uh, Caius really doesn't have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a big Manila folder. It's you wouldn't tuck it in your pockets. But he says, uh, "Or, or yeah, you can leave it here. Just take the map, whatever you need." Take a picture on my phone of the map. Yeah. There we go. And then anything else in the folder that I remember from him that I might need a picture, for example. If there's a picture of her yeah. that I need to show someone on the street... Yeah, you could do that. I'll take a picture now. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. sort of things that I anticipate I might be needing later, 
to show someone like a normal hobo would <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a normal person right yeah um yep you mean like a really advanced cell phone <laughs> you're like homeless you phone. have a line phone <laughs> Yeah. So uh, yeah, you get any any and all information off of there um, that, that you might need in in that sort of situation. Um, and uh, he goes over to the door and opens it for you and says, "Just reach out. I'll have somebody on the scene as soon as possible." Uh, that sounds excellent. And Caius would stand up and you hit a chair creak. Maybe you'd like someone on standby nearby. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have people. We have people all over the city. Yeah, we have them uh, near both those locations, knowing that you're probably gonna head there. So, good, good. Like I say, ten minutes. We don't want to be too obvious. That would be quite sufficient, I think. And Caius will look over at Zen and. Kind of look back towards the open door and start walking towards it. Mm -hmm. As Zen walks privately with Kaios, he says, If I recall collect, uh, correctly, their emergency services arrive faster than 10 minutes in these areas. I'm not sure they're placing enough importance on this. Well, why do that? They don't want to be next to something we find. More of a containment. Huh? We'll see. And in, as they're walking, Caius would look over at Zen. If I was able to get you up to somewhere of good height, would you maybe be able to pick them out of an area? Through their thoughts? I think that's stretching the rules. That's a GM call. Uh, it depends how far yeah, far away you were from them. them. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's a limitation. Let me see. My distance for telepathy is range 5, which is 50 feet. Say fifty feet. All right. Yeah, he was he, he was one talking about doing like a citywide satellite, making Zen into a sad citywide satellite, but more like mm. once they. No, yeah, he doesn't work like Professor X. Yeah, he he has to like see that. them too, right? He can't just yeah. Oh, so he just can't listen and pick them out. Mm -hmm. Are you sure that's in the rules that I have to see them? I think so. Maybe. Be nice to read someone's mind through a door. Would be. But you'd have to know. Oh, okay. I think it may be if, just uh, if you knew they were there, right? Right, yeah. But, yeah. It could be, it could be nice, too. Kind of I'll, I'll look it up, because now, now you got me... Uh, it might not say. <laughs> it might not say. It, it will tomorrow, trust <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my notebook right here. Hey, only if you think... He's trying to break it, it again. So. I, mean, I, I don't think I've... I, you know, I've not broken it just by asking to reach no, no, my I'm just the door, you know? You know, that would, that would make sense, though, because if you kind of know the general area, you kind of search through everybody's garbage thoughts, right? And Yeah, and I mean, it's like, uh, what is it, Deanna Troy and Next Generation didn't have to look at people. Like, she was just reading the entire ship, for example, the, the general sense of emotions. Um, yeah. Anyway, it currently says you read the target's thoughts. Yeah. They are unaware of your mind probe. That's it. Pretty so. vague. So I will, I will, as a lawyer, <laughs> I'm not a lawyer <laughs> I will lay it out to my advantage, um, and then have you, have you, sort of uh, snip the bonsai trees, <laughs> <laughs> snip it, snip it back as needed. Um, I, 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 I pledge as a good player not to abuse it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Raw Anybody state. could be a target, as yeah. long as they're within 50 feet, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I can see not being able to do, like, a great thing, because it'd just be overwhelming trying to figure out whose thought is whose, right? Because mm. the way they say you think in your voice, you know, if you didn't know a voice, then you wouldn't be able to easily, you'd just be like, oh, there's, like, 50 people that sound the same in that direction, maybe that might be I mean, I, th I think right now I would just say, if you knew that someone was in some sort of location... Uh, within your range, then you could do it. Awesome. Yeah, if we could, for example, examine. So, for example, simple, simple thing that I've seen on TV, right? When people call someone's home to figure out if they're at home. Right. Yeah. And then the person picks up. At that, at that point, you do know they're in the house, and then maybe Zen could just really focus on the house and try and pick out that. I would be fine with that. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. I wouldn't. I'm not planning to use this as a sonar to go. Where is she? Left or right? Or right. Four? You know, right. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Not like that. 
cool. Uh, so, where do you? So he goes like, where, where would you like to go first? Her apartment or the uh, the safe house is ex because it was exploded. Yeah, I just yes, basically. So it's a kaput safe house. Who exploded? Well, well the not the, the there was an explosion there. Um, they didn't say the ho safe house was necessarily exploded. Um, hey. So. One of the causes of the mini forest fires in the area, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> Just blame a, blame a, what is it, a electricity company? Yeah. <laughs> they then would, so then would then say, the shortest path to the target might be the best path. We could go directly for her. We could. I, I'm not opposed to starting into either or. I figure either way, if... If somebody's been around the area or is there and knows of some whereabouts, you'd be able to, you'd be able to pick that up on, on them. Same thing with her uh, apartment, if any neighbors have seen anything going on or anything. So either way, I think it would be advantageous to start at both. Mm. When you do the other one, it, it, he goes, I don't see no logic in picking one or the other. I, it makes sense yeah. just to go wherever we felt the... We'd get the most information, I say, I, I would think. Let's get changed, then. Yes, to look like some of the homeless I've seen. Yes. As they're getting changed, um, he would call up TK Masters. I guess they're still in the same building, but he doesn't want to be impolite. Yeah, oh, yes, uh, Zin. Um, how can I help you? Have you, uh... Have you A got... few questions have come up. Oh, sure, yeah, sure. About... We intend to go directly for Sadie Quinn near her apartment. Okay. I assume because uh, this agency represents the government, you would know if there is electricity there, or bills have been paid, phone calls been made, uh, trash is getting picked up, mail is arriving at the place. You know, signs of habitation. Ah, yeah, uh, that's true, yes. All that. Uh, well, I don't know about a phone. Uh, she's... She doesn't use a normal That's cell fine. phone. Um, burner phone, I'm sure. So we're not sure what phone uh, is connected to her. But uh, otherwise, yeah. Um, it has internet. It has uh, electricity. He pauses, like, and you hear, like, kind of him flipping through a file. Uh, mail's picked up by her sometimes, by uh, other people that we don't uh, have IDs on. Now, I assume you have some sort of access to her internet? Actually, no. We don't. How is that possible? Do you not have your judicial system behind you? Of course. Uh, but it's not, uh... Well, I mean, well, yeah, we have some of it. We have, uh, like, access to her Comcast, if that's what you mean. Sure. I'm not sure what that means. I'm asking if you are monitoring the information that they access on their internet line. Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I see. Is there a unit, or was there a unit stationed that is uh, surveying the apartment? Yeah, there was, but uh, yeah, there was. Um, not not right this second because uh, she made our made a tail, and uh, we didn't want to spook her off, so we kind of backed off a bit. That is good information. She is aware of perhaps having been spotted or identified. Yeah, last week sometime. I see. Since then, has her internet or electricity been used? Yeah, yeah. But uh, she's she's as far as the internet goes. There's not really much on there. She watches videos and TikTok and stuff like that. Now, could you please have an analyst send us the? How would you say in English? Um, usual times of when the electricity is used and internet is used. This might give us an idea of when she is usually at home. Ah, oh, sure, sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me look at the reports. If I, I'll have to call you back in a little bit. Um, get this course, information. I'm currently getting my appearance changed. Okay. Um, yeah. And is I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hangs up. Thank you. I am in room. Yeah, and I'll say I am in room one three zero. Okay. So 
So as you guys are getting changed, you're, uh, they keep, Caius, you're not sure why, but they keep putting, like, puffy jackets on you, uh, like, really heavy clothing, um, comp and it's, well, from what you can tell, hot for humans outside, um, and <laughs> so, uh, you have plenty of layers, and they give you a couple bags of stuff to haul around, and, uh, yeah, look. Well, he's... He's been able to see the, the the local homeless population as he's been making his flies, so he knows it's it'd be similar to kind of what they dress like. He doesn't understand the logic behind it, you know, but he he knows that you know when you, you see him wearing the same clothing, it's you know for whatever reason they do. He, he doesn't he doesn't feel like a, a too odd about it, but he still wonders why why are we wearing you know clothing to keep us warm when we're already hot mm -hmm. yeah anyway uh, a few minutes later TK uh, pokes his head and he's like yeah I've got that information for you it looks like it's all pretty standard um, after 6 p.m. to about 12 a.m. thank you I believe this might also tell us when she is not at home. I'm sorry, say that again. I'll say, thank you, this might also indicate when she is not at home. Right, right. And then I would already know, probably from the dossier, does she have a day job that she's doing as sort of, you know... Uh, they know they know nothing uh, about her um, as far as that goes. She does not have a job that they're aware. Of. She does not have an income that they're aware. Of. Um, the The bills are paid through her name, but uh, in uh, through an account of Sadie uh, Quinn. But they have no idea how she has any money. They should trace that money, and they should also, f I guess, follow her when she leaves the house. Yeah, the the money the money is uh, deposited. Um, into her account uh, at ATMs and such um, by various people, uh, and they're they're watching some of these people, um, but yeah. yeah. Well, it's cool, it's an enigma. I like it. I'll thank him and sort of wait through the rest of my transformation. Yeah, it doesn't take too long. Within an hour, you're ready to go. So where are you going we first? Do? Her house? Oh, absolutely her house. Yeah, we're going straight for the money shot if we can. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, Caius, of course, the, the explain things would, uh, you know, offer to give Zen a lift if he needs it. The sense that that would make Caius feel good and useful. Well, he doesn't. He, he knows you don't fly, so. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, he he could quite oh, have. You could you could sit on sit on a bike and he'll lift it and, and carry it if he had to. <laughs> we just have to make sure we arrive somewhere far enough away that it isn't obvious. That super's yeah. just arrived, you know. Yeah. There's someone be. carrying me on his back, flying into the air. Yeah. How far away are we from there? Could we just maybe take a? Oh, there's no public transportation, is there? Oh yeah, there would be. Sure, you could take a Uber or a cab or whatever. Sure, maybe Zen will propose There's that. probably a bus. I'm yeah. sure there's a bus. What yeah, he would say, he would say uh, maybe the best way not to get seen by people who are paranoid about supers bringing about the end times. We could just take a uh, human internal combustion engine vehicle. Uh, that would be fine if speed is, isn't of the essence. I assume this surveillance might take a while, if they are elusive. I have no problem in riding in an automobile. Actually, I think the easiest way to arrive there would be through teleportation, wouldn't it? Because then you don't actually get seen arriving at all, because you could just teleport into a back alley that's empty. Yeah, you could. Mm. 
Maybe I'll withdraw my statement. Um, and I'll say, instead, I'll say, if you don't mind teleportation, that might be a quick way to just appear unseen. Do we have teleporters here? I thought they were not advanced enough to have them. Uh, oh. it, is, it is one of my powers to be able to appear and disappear and take one person of my choice with me. Kai's eyes are kind of wide. Yes, that'd be quite advantageous. It'd be even faster than flying there. Probably. Are you comfortable with that? Oh, I am. This wouldn't be my first time in being teleported. It's, it is a technology. I don't know if it's the same as when you do it, but I'm pretty sure it's quite safe. Right. And then he uh, digs for his cell phone uh, and looks up on Google Maps where he thinks he wants to jump. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't want to just blind jump. Yeah, sure. And he sort of maps out on Google Maps sort of uh, a few hops or maybe just, you know, like wh where he where he thinks he could ap appear without someone going, what the fuck? You know? Right, yeah. In that in that, in that that general area. Yeah. And then... What, what time say, of day are you going to go? Now? What time is it now? Uh, it's probably 11 a.m. or... The latest name, I mean, yeah. It's not like it's not like the hopeless or having to a specific hour, right? Right, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that's uh, fair. I would, I would like you to make a teleport roll, though, a psyche, a psyche yeah. roll. Let's do that. I my don't leg. have. Uh, yeah, my, let me see. My legs are not going to be backwards on me, are they? <laughs> I mean, why, well, let's why see. Does he surge? I mean, uh, I don't think so. It would be hard for Zen to surge, but <laughs> yeah. Um, I do want to be fair to the rules. Yeah. I think teleport is based off of shape and not psyche. Oh, you're Psyche's right. You're right. You're right. Yes, you're right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn it! Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> um, just click on that. I think choose a target. Yeah, uh, just it's myself? yeah you can just and then when I ask you if it's targeted, just say no. It's just all the spells work that way. Got it. I think I clicked through it. Why is nothing? Uh, is it, no, oh, I, yeah, there it, just, it is. Yeah. Is that enough? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it is because it's challenging. Challenging is twenty nine. Uh, twenty nine. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yes, nice. yes. Yeah, it is enough. Mm -hmm. bah, bah, bah. So you zip over there. Um, yep, just up here. And maybe uh, maybe as a side effect, and that's pure roleplay, mm -hmm. maybe for just a moment, Kaios, you get, like a split second, you get the sense that you are, a sense of connection with the rest of the Earth. Because I'm, sort of, I'm sort of imagining roleplay-wise that he, he uses, like, the Nirvana plane to just as a tunneling sort of sort of agent so he'd, he'd be kind of like a warm fuzzy feeling right yeah yeah like, a, like but again if if, if if ted you don't want that that's no fine. That you, you could just no that's that's fine do it like cool. like a good relaxed feeling mm -hmm. yeah it's just, it's just like a split second of like oh what was that as you arrive because it still lingers a little okay as, as he as he's I don't know if they reform or how, how the teleportation looks. You literally but. just appear. Like, isn't a beaming or forming or materialize? I mean, it is, it is what you would call a manifestation. You just manifest. You just, you're there. So as Caius looks around and sees that he's, they're in, they're in a alley roadway. Wow, that was quite unique. I've never felt anything like it before. Isn't, isn't it? Yes, it is a good feeling. And he kind of looks a little more relaxed than normal. And then he quickly kind of goes looking for like his stern as he starts searching around the area. Ah, but remember your posture. You look way too regal. Hmm. Yes, I'll see what I can do. And then I'll, I'll instantly hunch over and do the old man thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple passerbys on the street. They don't pay you any mind whatsoever. Um, you know, just ki kind of, you know, how like a lot of people will do. They kind of go out of their way to not make eye contact with you, to not look at you, you know, yep. that sort of thing. <clears throat> yeah, we represent parts of the 
that I makes them yeah. feel uncomfortable very much. So. Exactly. So yeah. they they go out of their way not to look at you, not to, and you're in good enough disguises where, you know, you don't look foreign, you don't look, you know, odd really. Um, yeah. You don't have to do anything to really play the part. Uh, you're just kind of standing there next to uh, this apartment building. Uh, you know that she's on the uh, second floor, um, or we'll say first floor uh, to make it simple, uh, in apartment 106. Okay, apartment 106. Um, I'll have Kaio sort of stand there and then look on, quickly check on my phone again what they thought the floor plan of this building was. So that if I was to focus my mind on a specific part of the building, at least I'd, I'd know that that window is one of her apartment. That one is not. Yeah, you can you can ascertain that from the information they have given you. Mm. Okay. And then is there any way to get a get like my eyes through a window into her apartment from even across the street or park across the street or would I have to like go up in elevation to do that uh, I don't think you would have to go up in elevation but it'd be hard to see from that distance um... oh I just want to make like visual contact before I get into her brain Oh, I, I see. Uh, yeah, you can... But again, I don't want to now start constantly doing the Jedi sense thing because that doesn't, you know... I, I guess as a player, I just had two options. One would be I could ask you as a GM and say, like, well, then I, I open and stretch my mind, and if there's someone in the apartment, I I use telepathy to read them. Yeah, no, I get it. You, you, you can look inside. You can look inside. You don't see any lights on currently. You do see... Well, I take that back. It, you don't see, like, a big light on, but you see... Um, well, actually, it's the middle of the day. You wouldn't see anything um, as far as that goes. Uh, you don't see anyone in there that you can see from... The, from the outside, put it that way. Okay. What about a fire escape? We could go up and. She's on the first floor. I mean, you could go up. You could go up into some other apartments above her if you wanted. Nah. I would... Oh wait, first floor American is the ground floor, isn't it? Yes. Sorry. Ha! No, no. It's oh, I, I, oh, I see what you mean now. Now about the elevation oh, thing. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't raised that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. I get it. No, I, I get it. it. I get it. So. So like an, it's kind of like a normal apartment building, right? You go into one main entrance and there's a hallway, right? And then yeah. there's various various apartment units in there. So there's one way in. Uh, well, there's probably multiple ways in and out, but um, there's no direct exit out the the uh, the apartment besides windows, right? That would be like if there was a fire, that's how they would get out, etc. Um, so there's yeah. not like a direct door that just goes outside from there. Okay, Zen will then Zen will look at Caius and say, "While we could get into the apartment at will, I am not sure if there are surveillance equipment." Or something like that. I do have patience, so I propose we. Uh, and he looks around for signs and says, mm, "Loiter and see if she walks by." Uh, well, what do you think? Yes, I've. It's an uncommon for people dressed like us to be sitting against a building somewhere and doing nothing yep I think we would blend in great maybe I'll um uncrumple a dollar or two from from what they have been given and like buy like a hot dog or something and then I'll sit down across the street with Kaios and we just loiter Because I feel like if they're really afraid of supers and supervision, perhaps, and she has actually, she feels like she was tailed a week ago, who knows what kind of messed up booby traps are in her apartment. Yeah. Um, yeah, you wait there. Uh, you wait. And you wait. Uh, pretty much all day. Um, and uh, no one ever, you don't see anyone ever come in. Uh, for whatever reason. 6 p.m. is when we expect her to be get home, right? Yeah, that, that's when usually the power is used, yeah. So it's at, we'll say it's like 6.30 and nobody 
um, nobody shows up. I'll surreptitiously text um, TK Masters and ask him if um, internet and electricity were used at all after she felt she was tailed because she has not shown herself. Uh, he says that yes on one night two nights ago. Oh. Well, that's not a pattern then. What a doofus. Well, it was a pattern before, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not... A, yeah, if the pattern was broken, that might have been useful to know. Um, hmm. Zen doesn't get upset. Misunderstandings are normal in humans. Hmm. I suppose you relay that to Kaius. Yeah, he shows him the cell. No, he just tells him. Yeah. Well, perhaps we should just go in then. If no one has been here, maybe knock on the neighbor's doors and ascertain too if anything has been unusual in the past few he days. He says, let me ask you, aren't you, are you, uh, I assume your body is uh, stronger in some fashion, more resilient than a human's body? I would think so. If you don't mind, I could send you in alone first. That would be fine by me. Thank you. Let's uh, find a place where we wouldn't... Uh, where it wouldn't be uh, unt untoward to just disappear. So I guess we schlep ourselves into some sort of side alley behind a dumpster or something, mm -hmm. you know? And then he focuses... To, he focuses, uh, he touches Chaos and then focuses over on that apartment and puts Chaos into the apartment. Yeah, Chaos, you boop, and you're in. I'll just move you into the apartment um, real quick. Uh, where is it? You both. I'll just put you both in there so you can see. Uh, and then he called, he called your cell phone to stay in contact. Well, he'd, he'd be able to read Caius's mind, right? <laughs> You're absolutely right. I didn't even yeah. think about that. So Caius is fully aware of this, so he would start kind of purposely reciting things he sees in his head mm -hmm. as yeah. he's going through. Give me a perception check. Let's do that first. Perception. That's under senses. Oh, and maybe Zen would have told you to hover if you can. Yeah, he, he, he had no problem doing that. He, I don't know if he could talk to Caius in his head. <laughs> no, before, 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 uh, uh, you know, anyway, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's it's all good. I'm just paranoid. I play too much Shadowrun in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you already got hit by a bunch of traps, well, attempted a bunch I of did. traps the last yep. session, so it's going to be all traps. I, I don't think I have any thing that huh? look I have to look at my ability. No, I don't think you have any perception-based abilities. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I do. Yeah, you don't see anything? Yeah, so Caius would kind of start moving around. Ooh, that's a bad uh, roll. It, it is. <laughs> it is. That is a really bad way. roll. Okay. I'm telling you, I roll bad in this game for some reason. I think we need to set up a whole new room. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he would start uh, floating around, kind of. If there's a booby trap, for one, he wants to set it off if it's going to be something dangerous. And two, just to kind of, you know, see if there's, you know, like, I don't know how big the apartment is. If there's multiple rooms, he's going to wander through and see the multiple rooms and make sure that they're uh, not full, you know, don't have anybody in them, really. Um, so that's he's if there's a, if there's a trap he's gonna be looking to purposely set it off so he's kind of not being graceful or, or cautious. Reconfirm. Not everything requires a twenty nine, right? You had said like standard human. Yeah. Uh, like the low the lowest uh, challenging. Is, so that's the lowest. Um, that is uh, twenty one. So unless it's a mundane roll, which is ten, um, the lowest TN to pass is a twenty one. Is it because that's PL3? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here are, the, um, here are the target numbers. But doesn't that mean that you made things harder for people who are actually superhuman? No. Uh, well, so, yes, but 
the thing is, right, you only roll um, on those things that are difficult. Like, so that's why there's that mundane, right? If I thought there was something mundane to look at, you would just roll against the 10 or, every time. Or a grenade, or, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, oh, cool. Yeah. So, so, yeah, mundane is 10 for every power level. So the way I the way I describe it is, is if me as a normal dude can do it just as easily as a superhero, like me squishing a grape, I can do that. It doesn't matter how strong I am. I can do, do it as just as easy as they can, right? So do you, that would just be mundane, right? If that makes okay, sense. Okay, the same way. The same way that it, me as a human, I could I could fleece the apartment and look for cameras and and, and right, you know, sort of right. Yeah, you, yeah. Caius doesn't see any. Let's see. Caius doesn't see any traps. Um, he doesn't see anything that's obviously dangerous. Uh, he does see that there is a um, uh, there on that table back there. There's a, a laptop that's closed. Um, there's a pile of papers underneath it and also a uh like similar to a trapper keeper basically uh kind of a folder like that um and there is uh he sees something that he doesn't know what is uh it's like a circular ball like thing so what he, what he would do knowing uh about the the booby trap from before he would pick up the electronic and and uh open it to see if it explodes he doesn't really uh, like he, he does feel need that might be important, but he right now he's just making sure that if he if he lifts something up like that, and if it starts to get ready to blow up, he can he can handle the situation. And once it doesn't blow up, then uh, it, you know if, uh, he would you know set it back down for the time being because it's not his focus at the moment. You know, because the last time there was a piece of text somewhere and he picked it up, everything blew up. Yeah, nothing blows up. You pick up the laptop, it doesn't blow up. Um, right. You're not sure what's in the folder without giving it a good look over, but... Yeah, his, his first thing is to make sure it's safe for his end to come in. And yeah, you don't you don't think you see any uh, thing of obvious danger at all. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, well, if nothing's blowing up as he's moving around, he's going to assume take that, that assumption... And he'll he'll you know let Zed knew that know that through his uh his thoughts. In that case, uh, Zen will appear in the place. Boop. Yep. You do. And we'll we'll look around and we'll say, "I'm glad you didn't explode." <laughs> hey, kind of you feel like really kind of like the first time you see a smirk. Yeah. Yes, it's. More not for my safety, but for yours. And but I'm glad I didn't explode because I'm sure that there is neighbors here. And but I moved around hoping that if there was something, and I'd be able to handle it. And I've even shifted around some of the electronics to make sure that they wouldn't blow up once we start looking at them. Ah, uh, yes. He says, you know, personally, I speculate that perhaps. Humans might use a virus or something like that to counter the supers. We will see. Yes, that's a, that could be a possibility. And then he looks at the ball and goes, do you know what that is? Or do I actually know it because I'm... Yeah, here? you would know what it is. It's a, it's a, a webcam. Or was it pointed at us? It is. And you see it move. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> he, um... He looks over to Caius. Uh... Maybe Caius can read Zen's expression where Zen's like, oh, no. Um, and then... Zen, because the camera from the angle where it is would it have picked up uh, picked us up appearing in the apartment? Uh, it's hard to say. Uh, you mean just like how you just like popped in? Yeah. Um, it's possible. You're not sure how it was. It was been moving about, so. Mm. Um, he'll touch Kaios and teleport us behind the webcam. Unless we're right in front of it right now. Yeah, it's looking at us, I thought he said. Oh, I see. 
In that case, he will he will tell Caius, um, please, uh, quietly, right? Please play along and go to the fridge as if you're looking for food. I will go to this monitoring device you overlooked. And you kind of look and, and, and uh, yes. And as he starts going towards the fridge, he's like, I wasn't aware that I missed something. And then Zen walks over to the webcam and pulls its plug. He turned it off. Yep. Caius would. What kind of monitoring device was that? Um, Zen just puts his hand up and then looks at the laptop. Is the laptop uh, shut close or is the laptop opened and also perhaps recording? Uh, it is uh, kind of. Uh, it's shut closed now that Caius um, shut it. It was. It was always shut. Yeah. You don't think the camera, if it has one, is on? It looks pretty old. What was that camera connected to then? Well, I'm talking about the camera actually on the on the laptop itself. Yeah, there was a ball camera. Right? Yeah, there's a ball camera, a disconnect. You know, it's like a ball, one of those freestanding ball cameras. Uh, just it was like on the edge of the table, kind of pointing like outward to the to the room. Uh, the actual laptop itself, you know, the camera that would be on the uh, the what, what do you call it the above the screen. You know, wouldn't have been recording. It was flat down on the closed. If that makes sense. But didn't you say they currently aren't using the internet? So maybe nothing was transmitted. Uh, maybe. Hmm. I will. Yeah, I will tell Caius and say this was a camera. It uses lenses to record light falling into it its receptors, and then transmits that information to whoever wants to watch. I believe we were being recorded, or at least observed. Hmm. Perhaps even observed. So our cover might be entirely blown. Yes, I was not aware that there was a camera like that here. I now have to know that, you know, look around. There might be more somewhere. But this, if they were watching me, and perhaps that they weren't using your wired-based internet as you call it perhaps it was going somewhere else but yes they have a they had full view of me floating around the apartment mm. and then he'll take off his jacket <laughs> Guess yeah, then then texts uh, TK Masters and says uh, cover's been blown there was a camera in the apartment would you like us to retrieve all the electronics? Please advise. Uh, text yes. Okay. Then he'll, he'll relay that to Kaisen and says, uh, we've been advised to collect all electronic storage devices, uh, not toasters or washing machines or fridges uh, the, the compu of the computational sort. Hmm. Uh, like additionally, that. any sort of notes, as you've seen humans uh, use, for example, that uh, over there, and he points at the trapper keeper, um, and any sort of uh, any sort of books, etc. If you if you want, we can put them, and then he empties the trash out um, to sort of get a container, right? Because the tra you have a trash bin there, so I'm thinking we could use that as a container that sure, could absolutely. hold on while we teleport. Mm -hmm. As, as you are, are are picking up this stuff, though, um, mm -hmm. Caius, uh, maybe while Zen's kind of picking up this, the things, uh, you notice that the the screen on this TV flickers, uh, and it's like wakes up, um, you know. It's so it's like it's basically like an LED uh, of some sort, and it, it just like flickers, uh, and you see a face kind of, and not a face. I take that back. You just see. Um, you know, kind of uh, when you um, like a visual representation of sound, like uh, the ampli amplified waves or whatever, uh, yeah. kind of wiggling, uh, and you hear a, a voice. What are you doing in my apartment? Cass would, as soon as he started seeing it, he would, he would get, you know, pets in on, on, on his old shoulder and point to it. And then as soon as he hears the voice. Caius would. I assume you're Sadie. Maybe. Well, we are looking for you. Why? Well, 
We have been informed that the, there might be some trouble. And we want to find you and talk to you to ascertain if there is any trouble. Trouble? There's definitely trouble. Well, why don't we talk about it? We can. Right now. I'll keep packing, and as I do that, I'll quickly text Masters and say, uh, TV is talking, or, uh, you know, Target talking to us through TV. Uh, please, in, please trace. Uh, he does, and he says, no internet, no suspicious internet activity. So obviously they am monitoring, uh, the different frequencies and stuff, so... Okay. This could be an illusion, right? Because a TV technically doesn't even have a microphone. Is <laughs> what I'm saying as a, as a player, right? And maybe might cross Zen's mind as well. as like a TV doesn't... isn't a webcam or, or cell phone. It, you know. Maybe. And if... and if, if Master says that there isn't internet traffic coming out of this place, then there is no logical way that this should be happening unless it's some sort of magic or power. Right? Or satellite. Okay, uh, knowing Zen, Zen's aware, mm. uh, uh, would, well, uh, I guess you could first do by answering some questions for me, and then I could do my best to answer questions for you. Okay. First of all, how are you talking to me through your television? Hmm. Check the back of it. Okay, so we kind of float on over to the TV and look on the back. There's a, um, you're not sure what it is, but there's some sort of, uh, maybe it's a computer. You're not sure. Um, there's something with an antenna and a black box that is plugged into the back of the TV and uh, taped onto it. Ah, wireless technology. You know, kind of float around back to the front of the TV. Good. And then he'd, he wouldn't, like, beat around the bush. <laughs> so tell me about this group you are belonging to. Resist the darkness. Yes. Yeah. We're trying to save your life and everyone's life. What do you mean, save everybody's life? Because, in the end, the darkness will come and there will be a great war. And what is this darkness and great war? <sighs> That's to be determined. Not all of us know all the details. Hmm. But the war will be super versus super. And it will be terrible. We will all die in its wake. And some supers may survive, yes, but the world will be shattered. So are you against the supers? I am against no one. I am against this war that will happen. If all supers cease being supers, yes, the war would cease. It would never happen. But that's not my goal. Is that your group's goal? No. My group's goal is to stop the war. But how is kind of what I'm asking. We must stop the darkness from rising. If the darkness does not rise, there will be no war. That I can understand. So, and Kaius kind of looks at the TV a little bit. I don't understand if you know this dark is going to rise and your group is going to stop this darkness from rising, but you don't know how you're going to stop it from rising. Is that sound about correct? Well, 
It is somewhat correct, yes. We have plans, but I'm not going to give them to you. Oh, I didn't expect it. I just... It kind of worries me that humankind can be threatened by a darkness that... Have you sought the help of those who can help you? The darkness is everywhere. There's very few that you can trust. I'm sure you are here on behest of the darkness itself, but you do not know it. And why would you think that? Because those that try to capture us, or kill us, or stop us, are assisting the darkness. Hmm. Maybe who sent you here does not know it. Maybe their boss doesn't know it, or theirs, or theirs, or theirs, but someone does. Someone is attempting to let this happen. Perhaps they think it will bring them wealth, or power, or something else, but it will destroy everything. You may be king of the ashes, I suppose. Well, as much as my time has been brief here on this planet, I do see that humans are a different type of species than I have counted before. We may look similar. I was, I was taught at a young age to assimilate to human culture, but this is the first of my kind me being it being here it seems like and you kind of look around different from other places i've learned about i would hate to see it go to ashes but at the same time i wouldn't be king of it i didn't mean you exactly it's more of a generalization anyway what is it you want is it simply to talk to me about what we want and what we'll do? What were you doing here? Trying to capture me? Trying to steal my things, which apparently you have? You won't find anything in there that you don't know already. Well, if the information here is as little as the information you yourself have, that might be true. You don't even know what your adversary is? The darkness? We know some things, some things not. Probably it is a super of some sort. Behind it all. And you know this from what? Written texts? Prophecies? Premonition? Well, that is a good question. I am just an agent. I am not the boss of my organization, or someone in high authority. So, you, as a disciple or acolyte, are unable to actually verify the truth of your claims, of your organization's claims? Isn't, Is that correct? Isn't that the true with, truth with most things? So you just believe that this darkness is actually coming? I, and you I have seen... Believe? I have seen things that make me believe it to be true. Please enlighten us. Because if there's really such a threat, sharing this information with us might convince us to help, would it not? You would help us, yes. Hmm. Well then... I, you... Of course, if everything you say is true, then saving the Earth is of utmost importance. There is a place. I don't know if you know of it. We have a safe house outside of town. I was there just two days ago. We were attacked by machines. Highly advanced. They killed, well... One of our friends, a super, was killed there. He sacrificed himself for us. 
These machines were set to kill us, no, no doubt about it. Killing machines, nothing more. You can go there and likely verify that something happened and that there were destroyed robots. I know that doesn't prove everything to you, but it is a danger. It only proves that you know of a place where there was a fight with robots. It really doesn't prove the overall precepts of your group, does it? No, I suppose it doesn't. Well, we could just meet and you could you could prove it to us, or someone higher up from your group could meet us and prove it to us. After all, you are looking for help from supers, are you not? And we have help from some. But I don't know don't. if I can trust you. What if I tell you something and you interfere? Since I do believe you are working for the darkness, even though you probably do not know it. Well, and Kaya kind of smirk a little bit. I don't know if, if you know who sent us, and I do not know your people well enough to know if there is a big secret, like you say. I've only just arrived here in pursuit of somebody who I deem is dangerous, and I was told I would get assistance from the people that sent us here. Now, if you think that your country, as you humans call it, is its leaders is behind this darkness, then that is something I would like to, to know. But I cannot just take the word from just you saying it over through a TV. Just the same as I wouldn't take the word of anybody else. The only reason that I believe that what I'm being told is the truth from the people who sent us is because they are an authority. I don't know what places you know of, but the authorities can sometimes be totalitarian. They can be the ones that you must watch out for. I'm sure your local contacts, the low-ranking people, know nothing. Someone, I'm sure of it. Any, if any, that have come against us. They are a part of the darkness, unwitting or no, as I have said. Perhaps I could Wait. arrange something with someone for you to talk, but are you being That's monitored? Cool. And am I being monitored right now as I speak to you? Likely. It's possible. If we were to meet with you or another representative, we would make sure to leave behind our tracking devices. Yes. So to speak, fly above the satellites. There's a pause. Well, I cannot fly above the satellites. We can leave our phones behind, is what I'm saying. She sighs. Well, there is a... There is something in those papers which you have. Pull up the uh, Trapper Keeper. These? Yes. There's, I'll open it up. There is an address in there. It is another safe house. Perhaps... I could meet you with it. But you have to do me... You have to prove something to me now. I will pocket the paper so that the government doesn't get it. Right. She she says... Uh, well, she, she says... Uh, she can't see you, so she says... I'll need you to burn it after you memorize it. So I know that... And she pauses, realizing that the webcam's off. You will need to replace the webcam so I can see you burn it. So there's no way that they would know unless you told them. 
Okay. Um, I'll with my my phone is on silent anyway because I don't want you know a phone to, mm -hmm. a call to come in. And expose yeah. me. So I'll just take a picture of the page, and then I'll, <laughs> I'll turn back on the webcam mm -hmm. or plug it back mm -hmm. in. Um, without either of us being inside of the webcam, so maybe I'll point it at that you know at that wall with two pictures. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll hold the the thing in front of it and uh, and burn it in front of the webcam. Yeah, that's fine. Then once it's obvious that the that part has been burned, I'll just plug unplug the webcam again. Yeah, that's fine. She says fine. That's the address. Tomorrow. And she. Uh, yeah, sh sh if I tell you, tomorrow at noon. Make sure there's no. You're not what's up. Say that again. I'll say, uh, can we agree on a truce? No violence? I have no intention to do you violence. Are you denying the allegations of your group being violent? We do violence when we have to do violence. Against the citizens of the Earth? She pauses. Mm, like... Who do you Maybe mean? I'm as a player remembering, right? Didn't Masters accuse that terrorist group of having done? Uh, he that? he like, basically said them? that they're they are um, they basically will do things like uh, break into military installations and you know that sort of thing. Um, oh, he okay, never said okay. that but they haven't bombed like. School no, oh no 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 yeah no. Uh -uh, okay, okay. No. Um, okay. Yeah, just because. Yeah, they called them a terrorist organization, but it's not like you know uh, something. It's not actually terrorism against the civilians, which is the definition of terrorism, right? It's to, to raise terror. Right. Actually, just a, like a dissident group. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for because that that gives it a different. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Right? Yeah. Zen would, yeah. Zen he ne he never like actually story. said that. Yeah. They they did anything like that, but he did call them a terrorist group. But you know that's kind of you know. And then was going literal with it, you know? Mm -hmm. At least initially, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, she says, Well, we have hurt people in certain situations. I don't deny that. But we've never harmed innocent civilians. I do. Yeah, there are be. likely been casualties that have been unfortunate, certainly. I'm not saying... That we are perfect. Regardless, I am, I am not going to attack you. I am not, unless I feel threatened. Understood. Now, why did you want us to go to the site of that explosion and the uh, robotic attack? Well, I... What was there to be gained for us? I simply thought that you could see some of the machinations that the darkness were actually bringing against us. Oh, that is definitely of value. Thank you. We will be checking that out. Do be careful. My understanding, if this is all being recorded, and I must get off here soon because of that, and tracked, no, th no doubt, is they won't let, they will not like what they hear when they realize that you are being diplomatic with me, and then you will become a target too. There are many paths to a common goal or a positive outcome. Hmm. Well, I must go. My time is over. Bye. She just says tomorrow, and then the TV kind of. Yeah, essentially. Well. That is very interesting. Can we actually turn off our phones? Yeah, we probably can, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so Zen would point at the phone and, and do like the... And then, you know, turn his phone off in front of Chaos. Uh, Chaos would just go ahead and crush his. <laughs> he's not... a phone anyway, yeah. yeah. Crusher phone. <laughs> he's, he's not that concerned. He's... Crusher phone. Um... Roll me strength. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like when you tried to knock down the knock down the wall. No, good. 
I'd like to uh, have uh, maybe Zen teleport with Kaios. Like, he'll hold on to Kaios and teleport us maybe... Uh, where would be somewhere where surveillance would be really difficult? The sewers, right? Probably? They don't bug a lot, the sewers, I would assume. Yeah, or out in the... Like outside of town, or of yeah, it, there's lots Isn't of places. That Actually, that safe house is out in the woods, but yeah, I mean, you could go somewhere close to that if you're going that way anyway. Yeah, I'll go somewhere close, but I wouldn't assume that a place of that importance with an explosion that there isn't some sort yeah, of. Yeah, going right there, there, yeah. How about in the exactly. woods somewhere around there? Yeah, somewhere out in the I woods. Got, so I'll just go oof with Kaios. I got, into I got the that woods. handled. Because I wanted sort of a private conversation yeah, with him. That's what I figured. How about that? Nice. Great. Uh, I've got to play some Enya with that. Is it Enya the one who does the Lord of the Rings music to some of it? I don't know. Totally, yeah. Yeah, that would work yeah. too. So Zen, uh, Zen would look at Kaya's and, uh, and say, what are you, how, do you, how do you feel about this? Well, it wouldn't be the first time the government has betrayed its own people in some form or another. It's, it could be unknowing. It could be. It the could... same way that Doppelganger might be pulling strings somewhere as well. Yes, or perhaps... Could be related. I was going to say, perhaps he's pulling the strings of the group to lure us in. Or perhaps he's pulling the strings of uh, people in charge now in the Sana Sana Goose Chase to remove those who might know him. I Where does your for... loyalty lie then? And, he says, and, and Zen, Zen sort of like bobs, bobs his head in sort of an Asian way and goes, I don't want to upset you. I am just interested to see what you make of the situation. Well, if you're able to read my mind, you would know that my situation with your government or with its people is not aligned with any other cause. It's, I'm here for one purpose and, well, multiple purposes in a way, because obviously if I am to capture who I'm here for, I've also been expected to report back on the shape of human affairs because, again, we're not actively monitoring the humans uh, in after this. It may not be a reason, however, they might be attracted to the powers that people are possessing here. It's So I don't know, but as far as uh, the, your government versus this organization, I would not be aligned to either or. Neither one would stop me from ascertaining what I'm here for, I, I feel. And maybe it might help me find him, because if he is in one and not the other, it'd become evident at some point. Glad to hear it. And what he thinks sort of backs that up, I assume. Yeah, he ain't trying to hide nothing. Yeah. Because like it, his whole thing is is he doesn't even know a lot about his own world. Uh, he's a, like, you, if you're reading his mind, you'd be able to pick out. He, he's what they would call a scout. Uh you know, when there is something that they deem interest, they would send scouts in and to report back, yep. right? And so th that would mean to assimilate too if they had to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Zen just didn't want to cause some sort of conflict. Yeah. Right, by being so open to hearing out what Resistant Darkness has to say. Yeah, there would be no no conflict in his... Uh, in his mind whatsoever he's actually quite intrigued because uh you know it, it it's just another path that would lead him to where he wants to be yep um yeah he uh he sort of he sort of takes in the the forest um and and it looks at him and says it is said that fortune favors the brave after all uh, yes, it's. I guess it would depend on people's fortunes. But the All brave. True. I'm interested, he says. I'm interested to hear about this darkness. To learn more. 
and see how true it is. Well, I am as well, not only for that for my own knowledge, but because if it is something that they are not in there, I guess you could say right, the more we knew about them, the better. And if they are right, the more we knew about what they knew about this darkness, it might be uh, beneficial to us as well. This could cause issues, though, with groups that have been infiltrated. Hmm. The agency, Arcadia, the government, etc. Well, again, I am not aligned with them as honor bound or loyalty. I owe them nothing. They owe me nothing as well. Mutual assistance is all that I asked and mutual assistance is all I was told I would be receiving. My mission is, is pretty clear cut and I will continue on with that mission. However, if the one of the paths is not aligned with that mission, then obviously then I would not be beholden to it. Uh, I do think that who I am, Krifella, is no doubt involved since he is able to take forms and whatever that scrying power is. So if it brews at the agency, which represents your government to me and or even Arcadius is, is behind something that he is part of, then obviously they become my enemy. Yeah. Do I see a way to currently mm, sort of juggle both groups without upsetting either? Because technically the mission wasn't I mean, yeah, maybe it was to apprehend. No, it was to check in on her. Is what sort of it was to was. to just get like, basically learn more. learn more. Yep, and to call them, uh, and you know, to bring them in. If you weren't actually supposed to uh, directly, um, directly contact her, or you know, whatever, uh, you weren't supposed to apprehend her necessarily. It was sort of an information mm -hmm. finding. Yeah. Thing, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Um, then yeah, so Zen would then propose to Caius and say, since our mission was to find out more information, we could, as a gesture of goodwill, inform masters that we will continue on that mission, but have to go uh, black, I believe the phrase is, for now and avoid that tracking? Yes, and I'm sure they would understand that and at the same time and you need to look over at you. I don't think you're beholden to them as well, so it, we also don't owe them explanations, so to speak, but yes, as you say, with goodwill, uh, it, that might be the thing, although it might be good to do that as well to keep up a good ruse so to speak as well because if they are working for this dark one and my target is with this dark one then and it would be better for them to know that we do not know what we know I understand um, he says I I simply don't want to upset everyone, uh, or anyone, he would probably say, anyone. Um, you will soon learn that, at their heart, humans are good people. Uh, many of them are probably just being misled. So us finding information that could prove the claims of this group might help us rally friends, allies, Eventually. Yes. I'll update yes. masters that we will be going black. Which I'm mis mis saying that on the <laughs> way. 
Um, <laughs> and so he he fires up he fires up his phone and sends sends him. A, yeah, you have as you turn on your phone, you have several texts. Where are you? Why is your phone off? Where are you? You know that sort of thing. What happened? <laughs> yep. And I'll I'll text back. Um, we continue on our mission. We'll contact you with the information once we have it. Need to go black now. And then why? Why? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. He he said you 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 turn it off right as you get why, but then turn off the phone. Turn off the phone. Cool. Um. Any. I'd like. Ooh. Is the clothes we were given are also from them, so they might be tracking on that as well. Uh, Caius removed his clothes in the apartment once he realized he didn't have to wear them anymore. Mm, yeah. yeah, they probably are over your normal clothes because they gave you layers yeah. just to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we ditched that. Um, and then we go visit, if Caius is in, into it, we go visit the attack site. Oh yes, Caius is, Caius is more than intrigued to see it. I will say, I'll say... Um, it might be safest to do a um, flyover. Oh, that I can do. Great. And if, and if it is being watched, then they'll see us here at least. Both parties, I would assume, are watching this place. Ah. Maybe we should uh, approach from stealth then? No, I think we should make it visible. Understood. I I feel like if we try to make it stealth and then we are seen trying to make it stealth, it would raise suspicions on both parties. But if we continue doing our job and hopefully with the understanding of the of the of the resisted darkness group, we'll know that we, regardless, we still have to keep up a ruse at this point. As it is said, bend the rod while it is still hot. Yes. I'm familiar with that smithing. He'll kind of smile and then he'll go ahead he'll and... Hold, Zen holds on to your back again. <laughs> he'll, Done he'll, that before. Yep. And he'll go ahead and uh, launch himself uh, into the air and fly over the area. You lift off into the air and fly towards where you think this is. Um, you have a decent idea. Um, but without your phones on, it's hard to exactly tell because it's in the middle of the woods somewhere. Um, but eventually you do see um, a uh, burned out car um, below you and uh, a bunch of debris everywhere. Uh, the house seems I... fine. Uh, it's a little cabin type thing. Can I be savvy enough to just turn off Wi-Fi and pull the SIM card out? Because then I could still use it as an offline device, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, um, yeah, sure. I, I, I think that's probably fair. Yeah, you find it. Yeah, you do it that way, and you, you're able to to look it up with what service you get out here. And no, no, what I mean is hmm. no, no, no. Oh, you okay. can complete because you can download. You can download Google Maps. Uh, literally download an offline uh -huh. copy to your phone of any area on the Earth that you want. Yeah. And then you can look up Google. You can use Google Maps without any internet service whatsoever. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's fine. It's fine either way. You you do that to find out where it is. Uh, I want to get tracked. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not getting tracked. Um, Sweet. And uh, you do that, and you see it below you uh, as you head towards it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to actually stop it here. Uh, we could go on, but I'm just uh, not doing a real good job, uh, and I want to kind of just reset, and we'll just take it away from the next time. Maybe in your mind, you're doing a spectacular <laughs> job in my mind. Well, thank you, but I don't, I don't feel that I am. So, no, that's that's totally fine. No, I'm just telling you, it was not noticeable if you don't feel right. Yeah. Okay. It very yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And so, uh, we will start off again. I don't have any plans on. Uh, here, let me just shut off this. Room.